Bring it up. Hi, this is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop, and I'd like to talk to you today about Avid Bins. If you open up an Avid project for the first time, you may be forgiven for thinking that these icons that look like folders represent bins. Well, actually, these are not bins. These are folders. If I swivel down the folder inside the folder, this is the icon for the Avid bin. And that's important because we do not import directly into a folder. In fact, if I select the folder in my project window and try to go to File and Import, notice that Import is grayed out, telling me I cannot do that. Whereas, if I swivel down my folder, open up my bin, and I'm going to make sure that the bin is active. Then uh, when I go to the file menu, you notice that import now is available to me. So bins we import and AMA link into. Folders are there really just to organize your bins. So it's just another level of organization that's helpful if you've got lots of bins in your project and you want to be able to organize them. I can go to, for example, let's just say I had a, I'm going to create a bin here and I had, this is my um, John's photos bin. And I'm going to create another bin and I'll label this Mary's photos. And now I wanted to combine those and put them into one folder. Right next to the new bin button, there's a fast menu. I can click on that and in here is the new folder option. I can label that folder photos. Oops and I can then drag my two bins into the Photos folder. But I cannot import directly into it. So folders are for organizing bins, bins are for storing our footage, photos, music, sequences. Hope that was helpful. This is Janet from Manhattan Edit Workshop.